Hey, what's up garden friends? Uh, good morning to you. Hope you're doing great. Got a great little video for you today. I got a problem here. Uh, also, it's a problem, but it's also a good thing in a way. But the problem is, is my compost came down with a cold. You know, uh, in these, these times we're all worried about our health, right? No, uh, the compost pile is cold. It has a cold. No, it, it just, the temperature is cold. Um, let me show you something. I got a th nice long compost thermometer in there and it, it basically shows us the temperature uh, in the pile. When that temperature gets really, really high, you know, 130 to 160 degrees, we know that that pile is cooking. There's thermophilic bacteria in there working around and it's working to decompose the organic material in the pile. When the pile, when that temperature comes down, like right now, I'll show you, it's at about 60 degrees Fahrenheit or about 15 degrees Celsius. So it's pretty cool. It's actually really cool out right now. It's been lightly raining, but that shouldn't matter about the internal temp of a hot compost pile. It doesn't really matter how cold it is outside. If it's a nice, good sized, solid pile and there's a, uh, a lot of breakdown going on, a lot of bacterial uh, activity, it sh the temperature should rise up pretty high. And so right now it's really low. What that tells me is that wherever I'm probing and getting those low temps, is that it's not it's it's not decomposing uh, at at that rate. There's no there's no thermophilic bacteria in there doing its thing, which could be a good thing. It could mean that the compost is actually done in those in those regions, and it's time for me to sift it, remove it, separate it. And so what I want to do is we're going to do a little bit of that in another video where I'm going to show you how to make some sweet old uh, potting soil from your compost. Uh, really easy to do. It just takes a little bit of effort, but super super easy and worth the effort. Um, but another thing that, that we're gonna do is actually then chop up this material. I don't know if you can see it here, is I got lots of fresh material that I've been adding to the pile. So even though the top of the pile right behind me, you can see it, it looks like big branches and sticks and twigs and all the normal material that you'd see in a, in a, in a solid compost pile. But what the difference is, is that it's all on the top. You know, so it's just slowly breaking down. Underneath it is all the compost that's been there for the last year or two. Right, this, I've had this pile here for a couple of years now. So it's ready to start harvesting. I, I'm sure there's a huge amount of compost that's already done, it's finished. Uh, like I said, we need to sift that, remove it, but then also leave a bit behind so we can chop up this unfinished material and then actually bury it. And that's what's, and then we're gonna see if we can kind of give our pile a fever. Maybe we'll have to come back and check back later on this pile to see if we can go from having a cold to having a fever. Cause that's what we really want in the compost pile from time to time. Is it, is it, it's, that temperature fluctuation is totally normal and fine but we really want that temperature to go up so we can break down. I got branches and twigs and uh, leaves and things like that. We, we want it all to break down. And so for that to happen uh, faster, more rapidly, we're gonna chop it. I'm um, gonna use some whoppers, maybe a shovel, get a little workout in, right? We all could use a little bit more exercise in our day. I, I know I definitely could. I'm, I'm so out of shape, it's not even, not even funny. Uh, I've been sitting down way too long, right? Kind of sedentary like this pile. I need some activity, I need some movement, right? And so we're gonna do the same thing with the pile. We're gonna chop it up mix it up and then actually bury this, all the new material, just below the surface with some soil on top and then watch. We'll come back, we'll check later and we'll see if we can't get that temperature to rise up, uh, get well over 100 degrees Fahrenheit, hopefully even over 120, 130. We'll see how hot we can get this pile uh, just by turning it. All right, so sit back, relax. It's time to do some field tripping. Boom, so as I told you, uh, I have a big old long compost thermometer in here. That thing's like two and a half feet, it's almost three feet long. Um, so it can probe down deep into the pile. Um, I've actually moved it around the pile in a couple different locations to see it, you know, if some spots are hotter than others or cooler than others. But for the most part, I've, I keep getting a similar temperature reading and that's telling me that, that the core of my pile is pretty much done, right? So you can see right there, it's 60 degrees Fahrenheit. Um, and that's what, about 15, give or take, maybe 16, 17 degrees Celsius. Um, which is too cool, which, which means, well, not too cool, but it's, it's so cool that it tells me that the pile is done. Right, so over here, I'll show you what I mean by done is when you have material that when you dig down, it's not full of all the biggest, largest chunks. And here's a, this is here's some right here that's pretty close, although it's been getting rained on pretty good. But you can see that's done, right? So that starts off like that, ends up like this. And so that's what we want. So what we're going to do, like I said, we're going to chop up some of these largest pieces. You can see I have a lot of um, large material branches that I've just been adding as I clean up the yard. Um, the winter storms kind of uh, thin out my sequoia trees. And so any branches that weren't doing too well or were getting shaded out by larger ones, they tend to break off and fall down. So we'll throw those in here, chop them up. Um, pretty soon I'll be starting to uh, mow the yard again. I don't have a very big lawn, but enough to add to here. And if you really want to get your compost hot, uh, grass clippings, fresh glass, grass clip, glass, fresh grass clippings do great for heating up your pile. You can see, I got a, like I said, I got a lot of material on the, on the exterior of the pile. 
but if we're able to chop those up into a little bit smaller pieces and the reason why we do that is it just speeds everything up right it's like chopping food up for a little baby or whatever it just just it's just easier for them to eat and digest right so same thing for our compost pile Whew, got a skeeter in my face uh, and so what we want is we want to chop that up get it buried up and then we'll come back and we'll see if we can't turn turn the dial up right like i said we would actually want to get it to where it's almost up there to 140 you know 100 150 degrees would be really cool because then we know the pile is hot and cooking All right, so I'm about halfway done. You can see behind me the pile looks a little different. So I've been piling it up, trying to get all the new material, all the fallen branches and leaves and sticks and twigs, all the compostable material, <coughs> organic matter, getting it piled up, all congregated in one spot and chopping it up. Now we've got one more step to do. We're gonna bury it with a little bit of soil. So if you're having trouble with your compost at home, make sure, to your, make sure it's moist enough, make sure it's big enough. It's not flattened out. They gotta be in a nice big mounded pile. So there's enough mass there to, to generate that heat. But also uh, make sure that you're actually adding in a little bit of actual pre-existing soil. There are a lot of organisms and bacteria and fungi and microorganisms uh, in soil that are gonna, once they're uh, topped on top of this material, it's gonna surround it. And then that, this material will break down, decompose so much faster when it has a little bit of a natural soil right on top of it. And then we can come back, we'll check the temperature and then we'll make sure this thing's cooking. <laughs> Woo! I'm sweating. Didn't I tell you that would be one heck of a workout? Um, so I spent a little time, I chopped it, buried it, put a little bit of compost on top or soil on top of my uh, of the, the fresh material, fresh organic material. Ah, and I can just sit back, relax. So here's the thermometer that I showed you. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop this thing right into the heart of this, this, this new fresh section of this pile. And I'll come back in a few days, maybe a week or so, and we'll t uh, take a look and we'll test to see how hot we can get this thing going with just this little amount of uh, new material. So like I said, from our garden to yours, happy gardening, best wishes, and happy composting. Come back and see us for part two of this video so we can see if we can uh, finish this out, see if we can't get this pile cooking. If you enjoyed this uh, video at all, please come back and visit with me. I'd love to have you uh, be part of the channel and subscribe and you know comment and teach me. I would love to learn from you. I've actually already learned quite a bit from a few, few people already, and so I hope to kind of keep that going. So uh, from our garden to yours, take care. Bye.